So while I was at work the other day, Toyota decided to drop the brand new 2024 taco truck. And I am here to tell you all about the taco. You can have it in turbocharged 2.4 liter engine, or you can have it in a turbo iForce 2.4 hybrid turbocharged and you can have it in manual transmission or you can have it in automatic transmission i think that's the hugest thing out of this the fact that toyota is still investing in making manual transmission uh vehicles i think i gotta applaud them on this one i would clap a little bit louder but there's people sleeping and i don't want to be rude so let's go ahead and check out the all new taco truck we're going to start off with the trims. So obviously there's more information on here but for some reason. Hold on one second. Let me just turn the brightness down. It is way too bright. Oof. So the SR model comes in a six speed manual transmission. And uh, if you want a little bit more power, Toyota actually gives you an option to get a TRD off road with six speed manual transmission, as well as the TRD Spro Sport in a manual transmission. That's crazy. The only one that it doesn't, you know, highlight that as a feature is on the Trail Hunter, as well as the Limited. I mean, you know, if you're buying a Limited Toyota or the Taco truck, you're not interested in rowing it yourself, okay? You wanna, you wanna let the car just put that bitch in D, and you go, you're good to go. So this is their all new, you know, trim lines that they're adding. Most companies are actually, you know, consolidating all their trims and actually limiting the amount of uh, features they or certain trims that they no longer find that people aren't buying or whatever. So then they're eliminating them. But unlike them, Toyota is actually adding to theirs. So this is the Trail Hunter which you guys have seen the photo. So comes with the first ever Toyota Tacoma Trail Hunters, tough, rugged, and most importantly, ready to explore. Built from the ground up to tackle practically any adventure you can dream up. It comes standard with integrated off-road equipment from ARB, Old Man Emu, Emu, and Rugged Industries, plus with its available third-party Aftermarket accessory line trail hunters can be outfitted into overlanding rig of your dream. So you got flexible JBL portable speaker. It's kind of cool. I think I've seen that. And you got these wide, what is it? Old man emu <laughs> suspension with underbody protection. That's important. You can see that's pretty covered up, right? That's nice. And then you got an ARB steel rear bumper and trail ready feature which is cool. And then obviously you have just your regular old pre -runner. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but back then, back in the day, this um, sound real old right now, but my favorite truck was the Toyota Tacoma X runner. That's my truck right there. That was mine. I love the wild style styling of it and the fact that it was manual transmission and I don't know. I just haven't seen anything like it, at least coming from Toyota. They haven't done anything like that in a while. And that is just very unfortunate. So let's go ahead and um, watch the video because I have not seen the video that Toyota put out for themselves. And we can always learn some more information directly from the manufacturing. Besides, this is their truck that they're trying to sell to us. Not that they need to sell it. It just looks like a mini, um, a mini Tundra. And I liked it. We've seen some of those leaked videos and renders or whatever. We've seen some of those stuff. And this <laughs> looks exactly like it. <laughs> There's no denying it. They nailed it on the render. Yeah, they did. But anyway, let's go ahead and, um, and check out some of those, um, some of that, some of that uh, video that they uh, that Toyota made. Alrighty then, so here we go. <clears throat> Rugged, tough, game changing. That's Toyota Tacoma, 
It's a name that has dominated the mid-sized truck market for the last 18 years, and now it's reborn for a fourth generation. Built to showcase Toyota's latest technologies, powertrains, and chassis yeah. design, this all-new 2024 nice Tacoma is ready to spoiled. take on all challengers. Electrifying power! Legendary off-road heritage, performance runs deep in Tacoma's DNA. That means that, like always, it's the obvious choice when going off the beaten path. But for 2024, Tacoma's performance story takes a big leap forward with its incredible new powertrains. Case in point, an all-new iForce engine. A turbocharged 2.4-liter .4 four-cylinder that puts out up to 278 horsepower and 317 pound-feet of torque. And in addition to the 8-speed automatic transmission, drivers can even pair this engine to a 6-speed manual, which returns on select grades for purists that want to manage that power themselves. But Love it. The story gets even better with Tacoma's first ever electrified powertrain, a powerful hybrid that boasts impressive performance and great fuel economy. Based on the turbocharged two that white TRD Pro look fucking sick. With an electric motor, <laughs> that shit looks this sick. This new iForce Max hybrid system produces 326 horsepower and an incredible 465 pound feet of torque, nearly double that of the outgoing engine. Built for toughness. With power like this, Tacoma <clears throat> needs a serious platform to match. Like the latest Tundra and Sequoia, Tacoma uses the body-on-frame TNGAF architecture, which features Dejima welded blanks that enhance structural rigidity. And, and another thing too, on, on the, um, I don't know how, how true it is, obviously we can find out, but this is what I heard, um, they're no longer having the, um, the, uh, just the disc brake or they just a hub assembly on the rear it's going to be an actual um i don't know what the hell that brake is called but it's not going to be that it's going to be a disc brake now um might have got that con you know switched around but it's going to have disc brake unlike what used to be back there <laughs> it used to be just um I, I, just, I don't know what the word is but let me know what it is, if you guys know, um, it's a different assembly comparing to other Tacomas um, before there, there isn't. There's some sort of braking system in the back, but they didn't have like a actual disc brakes. They never came with one because of the off-road capabilities. But um, yeah. And handling, while its springs have been positioned in board for better articulation, further enhancing the truck's capability. To improve off-road performance and ride comfort, Tacoma offers an available independent four-link rear suspension that provides better isolation and ride quality on all surfaces. And on that note, Tacoma now offers two max performance off-road grades, the legendary TRD Pro and the all-new Trail, Trail Hunter. Hunter. Like always, TRD Pro is built for serious off-road fun. In addition to being three inches wider than its predecessor, Tacoma TRD Pro steps things up for 2024 with features like its standard isodynamic performance front seats, three-way adjustable like box some internal very, very shocks, crawl control, an updated multi-terrain select system that works in both four low and four high, and a new front stabilizer bar disconnect, which cleverly decouples the front wheels to help traverse more extreme obstacles. On the other okay. hand, Trail Hunter is ready right out of the box for overlanding, a type of off-roading where the journey is the focal point. Along with similar features found on TRD Pro, I can't wait. The Trail Hunter includes an old man emu suspension. I can't wait for people to put this truck to its paces. You know what I mean? To really, really push this kind of engineering to the max because we've seen people put these kind of trucks to the max and some of them just either they take off and they get super successful and really really good and some just you know <laughs> not good at all not good so we'll see but knowing that Toyota is making this stuff i'm confident in their ability to be successful here with their trail hunter um line and i hope that it goes over to their other brand too like the tundra etc um 
but anyway, I'll, I'll leave it here. Um, otherwise, this video is going to be extremely long. Um, overall, I am happy with a brand new introduction of Z Tacoma. I was just upset that I wasn't home so I could make this video for you guys, um, you know, be first. But it is what it is. As always, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the next one.